guys welcome back to another video in this reset series in this video we are going to solve OS paper of AP reset 2020 and without any late let's start the video let's start with our bonus question the question is which of the which is the most optimum scheduling algorithm the options are first come first serve SJF short job, shortest job first, or round robin, none of the mentioned. Comment your answer and let me know how many of you know the answer perfectly. The answer will be explained at the end of this video, so watch the video till the end. Now let's get into our first question. The question is round robin scheduling falls under the category of dash. The options are deadlock, demand paging, non primitive scheduling, and primitive scheduling. If we see that in round robin, we execute a given. If we see that in round robin, we give fixed amount of time for every process to execute, and if the process executes within the given time, it's okay. But if not, then the process is forcibly context switched or and added back to into the queue. So. According to the given options, round robin comes under the primitive scheduling because primitive scheduling means forcibly removing the process from the CPU. Now let's move to our next question. Which one of the following is the deadlock avoidance algorithm? Deadlock is a state where process gets struck because of limited resources. And to avoid this, we use banker, banker's algorithm. In this algorithm, when a process is to be executed, it checks what are the different kind of resources needed for the process execution completed completely. And if the resources are available, then they are in the safe state. Else, it is considered as not safe state, not no safe condition. Then, if they are in safe state, safe state. They are allowed to execute. Else, they are kept waiting until the needed resources to be free. For more information, I have provided links in the description. Go through them. Now, let's move to our next question. The aim of creating page replacement algorithm is to the options given are replace page is faster, decrease the page fault rate, decrease the page fault rate, and finally to allocate multiple pages to process the answer is decrease the page fault rate here we will take an example for this now let us consider we have loaded a huge pdf file into the ram let's think this is hard disk hard disk and here it is here we have a ram And here we are having CPU. And if we consider the, we are loading a huge PDF file into the RAM, and the PDF file not sufficient into the RAM. So then we use virtual addressing, virtual memory for this, and we will to load these pages. And the pages will be like here, here, but in a virtual memory we will have some pages, and in RAM some pages. So this get physical address and this virtual memory get virtual address but uh, the pages in virtual memory get virtual addresses virtual addresses this is virtual memory this part is virtual memory and this is physical memory which is ram and when we want to load and load a page into CPU. Let us consider CPU needs this page. Then CPU uses physical address of this page and loads into the CPU. So it will be loaded. But when the CPU needs a, a page from virtual memory, if we, it want this page, then it, it, it should use a virtual address. But virtual address cannot be accessed by CPU. So in this condition, we get page fault. Page, 
brain fold accept uh, happens here. So, to decrease this brain folds, we use the concept called page replacement algorithm. In this concept, V replaces this page. When CPU need an, uh, a page from here, then we are using some algorithms. We replace this page with this uh, any of this page which is not needed, not necessary. We replace with this Z. Let me use. We replace this page with either this page or any page over here in the physical address. And we will get this page a physical address and so the CPU can access it easily. Oh, so that's why in, then the page fall number of page faults decreases. So the correct answer is decrease the page fault rate. Now let's move to our next question. What are the two new methods of the LRU page replacement policy that can be implemented in a hardware? The options are counters, RAM registers, stacks and counters and final registers as this is the extension concept of page replacement algorithm we have many page replacement algorithms like some of them are first in first out optimum page replacement algorithm and least recently used page algorithm which is known as lru while implementing least recently used page replacement policy in hardware use stacks and counter for doing this so this is the answer for and it manages out everything now let's move to our next question virtual memory is normally implemented by dash the options given are demand paging buses virtualization and paging if we, the answer is demand paging in virtual memory, till now we have seen how page replacements or swapping are done. But now, but we don't know what pages should be swapped into the memory because we cannot estimate what are the page next page required by the CPU. So let's take an example for this. This is the RAM and this is the virtual memory, and we uh, this is the CPU. CPU may require any page out of this so how can we know which page you should be swapped into the memory into the ram uh, it may require either this page or this page or this page so in this condition demand paging comes into the play demand paging is a concept where only demanded pages are copied into the main memory by cpu and if the page is already present in the mem main memory then no need of copying from hard disk to memory if the cpu ask for a already present page in the ram then there is no need to copy the page from hard disk or anything into the ram so this is this is what is is called demand paging as we are using demand paging concept in virtual memory so that's why it is said to be as virtual memory is normally implemented using demand paging. Let's move to our next question. The question is process is dash. Options are program in high level language kept on disk, contents of main memory, a program in execution, a job in secondary memory. The answer is a program in execution. When a set of instructions combines, then it becomes a program. And when a program goes into mem uh, CPU for execution, then it is known as process. This is CPU. Then let's now let's take a small example for understanding this in better. This is a instructions, small instruction called A plus B equals let, uh, if we combine with a C program or anything, it becomes as sum of two numbers. Program known as sum of two numbers. But when it goes into a CPU, it does some work like 
some uh, addition of two numbers no, or anything that is implemented it means in doing some work so that's why when the this program is doing some work it is known as process it processing cpu is processing something so this is uh, this is why it is called as process it, when a program is in execution as the questions are many and the video is becoming too large i am breaking it in this video of operating system into two parts the second part will be uploaded on next uh, next tuesday but if you want it earlier let me know through your likes the target for this video is 10 likes soon after reaching the 10 likes i will upload the next part now let's see the bonus question the question is which of which is the most optimum scheduling algorithm fcfs sjf rr none of the mentioned the answer is sjf because because it is an algorithm in which the process having the smallest execution time will is chosen for the next execution in this scheduling method can be primitive or non primitive it significantly reduces the average waiting time for other processes awaiting execution and the other reason is it can improve the process throughput by making sure that shorter jobs are executed first hence the possible short turnaround time so that's why sjf is shortest job first is considered as the most optimum scheduling algorithm and finally guys make sure you like share and subscribe the video and if you are having any doubts or questions let me know in the comment section or you can ask personally on instagram i have provided inst instagram link in description <laughs> thanks and i'll say